there's a long straight wire with a constant current. This wire loop is being pulled that way with a velocity parallel to the long straight wire. The other wire loop is being pulled away from the long straight wire. Find the direction of induced current in each loop. This wire loop is being pulled that way. It stays the same distance away from the long straight current. So the magnetic field through the loop stays a constant. So B stays the same. That means the magnetic flux through this loop also stays the same. Therefore, there is no induced current. This wire loop is being pulled away from the long straight current. So the magnetic field in this wire loop gets weaker. And that means the magnetic flux decreases, which means the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field, they must be in the same direction. The original magnetic field is produced by the long straight current. So if I use my thumb to follow that current, inside this wire loop, on this side of the current, the four fingers come out of the paper. So the original magnetic field goes out of the paper, and that means the induced current's magnetic field should also come out of the paper. That means, uh, again, when I use this right hand rule, I need my four fingers to point out of the paper inside the wire loop. That means the current must flow counterclockwise. Two coils of wire are wrapped around an iron ring. One coil is connected to a DC power supply with increasing voltage. The other coil is connected to a resistor. Find the direction of the induced current in this resistor. As this power supply's voltage increases, the current in this coil would increase. Therefore, it would produce a stronger magnetic field. That means uh, the magnetic flux in that coil must increase. If the flux increases, that means uh, the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field, they must be in opposite directions. The original magnetic field is produced by the current in this coil. The current comes out of the positive terminal, so it goes uh, up over that way, and then so it's up in the front, down in the back, up in the front, down in the back. That means uh, if I use my thumb to follow the current, behind this current, my four fingers go to the left, so the magnetic field inside this coil goes to the left. So the magnetic field line in here goes to the left. And since magnetic field lines tend to stay inside the iron ring, this field line would keep going and goes clockwise inside this coil. So over here in that coil, the magnetic field produced by this coil goes to the right. So that's the direction of the original magnetic field. That means the induced current has to produce a magnetic field that's in the opposite direction. That means uh, inside this coil, I need my four fingers to go to the left. So four fingers go to the left. That means the current must go up in the front, down in the back. So the current has to go up in the front, down in the back, up in the front, up in the front, and therefore the induced current would go to the right in this resistor.